Master number 33, Life Path 6. This is your May read and welcome to Student Ascensions, Spiritual Awakening Journey. My name is Stacy. I am your spiritual guide and mentor. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving a like and follow so you can get your monthly Life Path videos. I do these once a month plus other videos in between that I feel called to to help you on your spiritual awakening journey. When your cards fell on the floor, let's go ahead and get that. Alrighty. Any of these, this is a crystal oracle. I absolutely love, 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 love these oracle cards. Now, if you see any one of these crystals, I would suggest you get one. Get the one you're connected the most to. We have, I can't pronounce this, so I'm definitely going to give you a nice look at that. Now, this is has to do with children, third eye, and heart chakra. A lot of you guys are going to have, be connecting with your inner child this month or connecting with a lot of your children. A, a childhood essence is what's going to be beneficial for you guys this month. At least you get to stop blinking. I'll just turn off the light. Just keep it like that for all. When we have fluorite, spirit guides, third eye chakra. So that's the second third eye chakra that we have. Then we have obsidian. I know you guys know about obsidian protection, root chakra. And then we have another root chakra, ancestors, pipe stone, cal calatine. I don't know how to say it right either. Root chakra. So what's going on with you guys this month? You have a lot of protection and ancestral protection going on. If some of you guys are not feeling safe or your home is just the energy is a little bit off, I would suggest you get some obsidian. Obsidian is a really great card to, I mean card, it was a really great crystal to protect your energy from negative energy. So when you go around people and they you don't absorb their energy, you the obsidian absorbs the energy. It's a very powerful crystal. I would get one, get a, a necklace, wear it around your neck, or bring or get a bracelet to ground yourself with it. I wish I had one on me right now, but I'm in my home and I feel very protected, so I don't really need it. <laughs> but if you need the extra help then get that this one is going to help you the pipe stone is going to help you to connect more with your ancestors this month because you have a lot of ancestor guidance that is coming through and you for also spirit guides if you want to connect heavily more with your spirit guides get the floor right as well there is something about messages that i'm here Picking up on the lookout for the dates of the 16th and the 22nd. If you guys are planning a trip or something to a childhood home or with your children, that's that's a perfect date to do it. Um, your spirit guys are letting you know that that energy is going to be very supported that on that date at that time because you're going to have a lot more love and it's going to be a lot more balance. I don't know if you guys what you guys are planning on doing, but that is a nice date for that. The 16th as well is going to be a heavily protected day for you and your spirit guides. If you want to connect more with your spirit guides on that day, there's something, some kind of special message they're going to have for you. So maybe you need to go go outside and touch grass if you know how to meditate and quiet your mind and get with messages or go and watch a reading on that day. Watch a reading. There's going to be a reading um, from one of your readers. Could be me. Who knows? They're going to have a special message for you on the 16th that's going to be along your path of what it is that you guys are doing because you are the sign of balance. And just know that you're going to be protected this month. You guys want me to keep showing you these cards because they want you to pick up these crystals. A lot of you guys don't know how to center or protect your energy and, and bring it into balance is what I'm hearing. You guys are putting your energy all over the place and it's it's... It's a little frazzled, it's kind of like a TV trying to come into balance and it's static. So your energy is a little staticky. And that's because you need to connect more with your spirit guides and know how to follow your own divine guidance and not rely upon other people for the guidance that of which you should already know. And that is going to be a main theme for the rest of the May for you guys is to learn how to connect with your spirit guides. This is a month of communication. This is a universal three months is about communicating and networking. That is the numerology energy. But for you guys, 
I had the same re, um, kind of uh, thing with Life Path 7. For you guys, you need to communicate more with your spirit guides and connect with your ancestral roots. But for you guys, it's more... You, you have childhood themes going on in your month. A lot of childhood energy. Maybe you guys want to go to a fair or go to some amusement park, something that's fun and childhoody to, 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 to just balance out your energy and make, make you remember things are fun again is what I'm hearing. Remember things are fun. It, everything is not just work and there's fun. You need to bring some fun into your life. But your spirit guides are your actual guides that have sent you on this mission in life or whatever it is you're supposed to do to come and help humanity because you are the servicemen. They want you to connect with them more. And a lot of you guys are archangels, so you need to connect with your archangels more or whatever deity that you believe in or follow. You're being asked to really, really tap into that energy this month because they're they're just here waiting for you to ask them for guidance. Very much so. What do we have here? We have seven of swords energy. Have the full, they said no reversals, no reversal. And what else do they need to see? This is general reading. So whatever comes out is what comes out. Okay, and we have the four of pentacles and three of pentacles. Do you want another card? Which, which one is this for? Okay. And why do I feel like you have another one for me? Is there another one? What else do I need to see? Okay, this. Alrighty. And it's King of Pentacles. Okay, we're leveling up. We're leveling up. We are leveling. I'm seeing some levels here. And we end it with the higher friend. Let's put the higher friend here. So we have the seven of swords. Don't you love the doggy, doggy oracle? So cute. Yeah, the seven of swords. We have the full card. We have the four of pentacles. Look at that cute little four of pentacles. If you guys have dogs looking like this, then you know it's definitely confirmation for your reading, especially coming up in two cards right here in two different suits. So this is major if you guys have this dog. A lot of you guys, some of you have may have some animals and had a couple animals that passed. And sometimes they'll come along in these readings when I choose the doggy pile. So that's for some of you as well. It's a little confirmation. If not, some of your animals are speaking through you, through the cards. It's pretty cool. What else do we have here? We have... We have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the King of Pentacles, bro. Okay, I'm starting to see what's happening here. And then we have the Higher Friend. It looks like you took, you, in the past situation, because this is going to be past energy by the time you've seen this, because it didn't put it out on the 1st of May, it is like May 9th when this is being uh, uploaded. So you might have started off the month with some just sketchy energy going on behind your back, maybe some kind of energy. It looks like some, maybe some kind of deal that you guys were had in mind didn't go through quite right because it looks like you, you're you slayed the five of them swords. He has five swords in his mouth and these other swords are in the back. So it's a little bit, um, maybe two people didn't work out in a group. Maybe two projects didn't come through. Maybe two things didn't quite work out because, not because of you, but some things that happened behind the scenes. Not necessarily somebody sabotaged it, but just some things happened in the behind the scene that didn't make it work out. But guess what? You took a chance and you kept going anyways. And as you keep going in this month, your budget, your money, you guys have you guys have put your money into balance and have budgeted it. So what I'm seeing is that you have put the money towards what it needs to go through. Maybe you guys have made some really good investments and are starting or going to start. Whatever you guys are invested in, oh, it's, oh, it's business. Yeah, it's business. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a message for some of you. This is about business and 
you guys have put in are working with a group of two other people or working in a group of three or something. And it is coming. To, it was very hard work, but it's coming up to the end where you guys are about to be rewarded in May. This is coming King of Pentacles. You invested a lot of money. You got, you got rid of whoever, maybe the group started off bigger or the, the project started off with more people, more things. Or if you started a business and you wanted to have 10 different t-shirts, now you're down to three different t-shirts. There's something about where you, you you had to cut and trim the fat, trim it out, trim it out, trim it out, trim it out. But whatever you trimmed and you invested in the right things, it's it's paying off this month. And you got the higher friend energy. So with with you've been being led from above, from above, some kind of grandfather from the past. You also have the higher friend energy within you. So you guys are very strong. I think of a spiritual man. You've been very spiritual in your pursuits. And that is why you were able to know what to do and what not to do and who to get rid of and who to um, to cut and trim and what areas of your life needed to to stop. If you were out here spending your money on things you didn't need to, maybe you stopped going to the bar, maybe you stopped going clubbing or whatever it is, but you stopped doing certain things and it's helping you out right now. And you're going to level up big time this month. This is, this is fantastic energy. Know that you did the right thing. You invested in the right thing. Yes, yes. You pinched your money as you were supposed to, but you put it where it's supposed to go. And whatever this project, you guys, this business, it is it's going to be more abundant than you think. And it's transformational because it's transforming your life with this butterfly. Butterfly is another um, theme of your month. So this is why you're being asked to really, really ground yourself and know that you're protected and know that your spirit guides, your guides, your angels are are with you get in touch with your childhood self again. And this is actually, no, they're saying that as you have done that, because as the time you see in this reading, you would start to have done that. It is what's paying off for you. It's why you knew where to invest your money. And this is a good reading, guys. Good for you. So that's all I got for you guys. Life path six, master number 33. Balance is coming to you, which is beautiful. If you're with me this far, please feel free. Um, this is my book. Uh, this is the second copy this year, but first book ever. It is a 2023 numerologist fiber guide and journal. So if you're interested in a daily journal where you will have daily guide and journal, where you'll have a daily, a da um, daily, um, guidance as far as numerology. So you'll know the daily numerology energy for each day and how to best maneuver the energy. It's pretty amazing. I made it myself and I am so proud. But I made it to help you guys, to help you. So if sometimes you feel a little off, like you don't want to work today, or maybe you, you, you feel a little more emotional, it could be because of the universal energy. And with this journal, with this guide, you'll be able to know exactly what the energy is each day. And that is pretty cool. So it's for the next four months. It has May, June, July, August, and then September, October, November, and December will come out then at that time. That will be the third edition. Like I said, it's also a journal. So you'll have written parts where you could journal in the exercises that I wrote in in order to help you. So these are questions to help you unblock your chart shock or questions to ask you how you are going in life right now and how to best maneuver and get out of blockages. It will help you. It is very much so something that you should have in your pocket, in your, ba in your bag, just with you to help you. So you can maneuver these energies great because your money is about to be popping. Also, if you're interested in learning numerology, the School of Numerology is currently in session and I will leave the link below. You can sign up at any time. You can, it is a self-taught course where you, it's, have 21 lessons and each are grouped into sections and those sections will be emailed to you in the portion of six weeks. That's a six week course by me and you will be able to learn all three numerology practice, the Tamil, which is the Indian numerology, the Kaldan, which is the original numerology that's first ever made and the Pythagorean, which is what we practice here in the West. You'll be able to become a numerologist at the end of this or really help people in your in your life and know your chart numbers as well so you can help yourself more and know how to protect your energy because you'll know what you are strong at and what your weaknesses are so go ahead and check that out if you're interested and i'll see you guys next month
I can follow if you're new to the channel. Ciao.